Are you ready? Are you ready for today's adventure? <laughs> what about you? It's something you have not done with that. Birthday girl. Yes. Hello. Tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Here we go. This is our first stop of the day. Oh, Jess, you look at this. Mm -hmm, I saw it. Oh, nice rocker. Lots of tools, car parts, Christmas tree stands, ink cartridges, computer. Oops. Oh, look at the stones. Oh, it's not for sale. <laughs> oh, you're looking for books? <laughs> it's up or thumbs down? <laughs> Hello everybody, this is my cousin Alec. This is my Aunt Dana's son. He's from California visiting. And uh, he's out for some uh, sailing with us today. Doesn't he look excited? <laughs> Actually, but it looks like it's like out of a don't want to Jess, look at these. Oh, those are cool. A dollar each. Yeah. Aren't they? Here's a quill pen to go with your ink thing I got you. I'm sorry, the larger ones are a dollar, the small ones are 50 cents. Okay. And the, the prints are different prices. Yep. <laughs> That's cute. Some ancestor of mine did that. I don't even know if anybody would buy it. But that is, that's cute though. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Look somebody it. who knows how to rewire yeah. might be able to do something with that. So. Right. Oh, that's cute.
go get you in the picture. Good. I don't want my picture. No, ma'am. Even with the mask on. <laughs> so, no worries. A lot of these things were like in my mother's family and my grandmother's oh, family. How cute is that? So, will you do a little bundle deal? Well, yeah. I okay. Mean, if you, if you're so, there's things that you're interested in. All sure. right. Ooh. Is that a little stink bug? What oh, is maybe. Where'd he go? Oh, he's on. The, he just <laughs> climbed up the vase. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, that's cool. That was a music box, or you know, it doesn't work anymore. But okay. I thought it was. I didn't throw it out. Oh, right. That would be me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's our third stop. You didn't even. Uh, Watch the car, Jess. You didn't even attempt to. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm here we go. Turn on that vehicle, or on that line. She's like, whoa, whoa. I'm like, okay. Did you see that um, tractor out in the middle? Yeah. That was cool. Oh, there's some good stuff at this one, guys. Ooh, yippee. Okay. Now, this is my kind of sale. Ooh, look at that thermos. Good morning. Oh, lots of paint loss though. The mailbox. Oh, not a golfer. Oh, I left my thing in the car again. Oh well. Oh, it's got a broken wing there. Mm. Damn it. Well, maybe not. No, I don't know. This is cool. Did you lock the door? Oh, uh, no, I want to go get my bag. Ooh, is this a Montgomery Ward? USA. That's a pretty cool picture. Ooh.
I don't know what stop this is, people, but lots of nice furniture. That's a nice table and chairs. Very nice. Big plant stand, wrought iron, snowblower. Oh, look at this. She shares mine. <laughs> This is cool. That is commitment. That's that Murano? Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? It is. How much are you asking? Sixty. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. It looks good in your sunlight. Sure does. <laughs> Sparkling away. Yeah. I kind of thought it might be Murano. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just filming. I have a YouTube channel, but I won't get you guys in it. <laughs> oh, these are cute. Um, well, I'm a, I do, um, it's a YouTube channel all about thrifting and stuff like that. And I just like show them like, like shop with me. I'm the king of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> um, shop with me videos and just stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. I, I have a huge collection of precious moments. Oh I my know. God. How cute is she? I was just looking at eBay to see what they go for. Not much. No, it's sad. You it's all that money on. It's very sad. Here's what we got for you. What are you asking for? Put it in there. For them. He was saying three dollars each, I think. Okay, this is so cute. But I would have gone higher myself. <laughs> I like that one. This one is adorable. There's another guy got a couple pieces in this one. Oh my goodness. Just little, they are like, adorable. I have like this you. one. Oh, $4? Oh my goodness. $2 if you take them now. No, it's okay. <laughs> oh, look at this. Well, I definitely want those three for sure. <laughs> okay. Let me see what's over here. Salt cellars. Oh, she is. Yeah. That's a good girl. That's a deal. Although I told her I think that's a little low. Oh, the cooler. The cooler. I call her the cooler. She cools down all my deals when I get them hot and heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are pretty. Picasso. No, we should almost that Oh, Aunt Dana, did you see these roll-up blinds over here? Oh, no. <laughs> those were expensive. Those are going cheap. That's a great deal there. You can have every blind there for 20 bucks. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Hmm. Her mother drives me crazy about blinds. You well, that's really? a great deal. You have no idea <laughs> for, the, for her uh, deck because it's windy or whatever yeah, yeah. so yeah mm-hmm yep take the whole load 20 bucks <laughs> she already got some though but <laughs> you're not allowed to look at them blinds i know plus she ordered some she didn't want from a place that makes it impossible to send it back and i had to do that well here's nine thousandth stop no, not really. We didn't get to stop too much today. Lots of goodies here. Let's see. I am out of breath. It's hotter than Hades.
Boy, I need that right about now. Dollar Tree Galore. Ooh, Misty. I know you're loving that right about now. Costumes. Who that? Bale? I have no idea. No vintage Christmas other than this little item, maybe. $25. Wow. $30. Oh my goodness. Look at that picture. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, they're expensive. Yeah, There's no way. This is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Glasses. Very good. <laughs> How much were they, Alex? Ten, Ten cents. cents. That. Ten cents. Jessica, did you see the Peter Rabbit bowl? Yeah. Oh, okay.
Happy birthday to you. That's a hell of a candle. Two more years till Social Security. Thank you. Well, hello, everyone. I have emerged from beneath the rubble of packing peanuts, bubble wrap, and boxes. <laughs> Ooh-wee! All the invoices are out. All the packages, probably three quarters of the packages, just left my house. It's a good thing. I'm pretty tired though, I gotta say. Hence, I'm a hot mess. Don't care. <laughs> but I do have an awesome haul video for you guys from our 10 mile yard sale. This year was not as good as years past, obviously because of the COVID uh, that's going on. But I did manage to find some really cool stuff and I can't wait to share it with you. So, I have Sophie on my lap, as usual, so her tail will be flying up every now and again. Um, so, we, we stopped at several um, yard sales, and we also stopped at an estate sale that was out in the area uh, where we went to for our first couple stops, as you saw in the video, out in the country, so nice and peaceful, beautiful. So... Let me show you what I got at the estate sale first. Um, everything was half price because it was the second day. So um, this is what I ended up picking up. I got this set of three uh, pink depression glass glasses. It has a really pretty grape, etched grape pattern. Um, I do not know who makes them, but as I said, I got a set of three. And I think the glasses were like, I, I could have sworn she said a quarter a piece. So half of 75 cents. Hmm. That's a nice deal. <laughs> so I'm going to move stuff onto this chair over here as I go so I can make a little bit of room. I also picked up this really pretty uh, little trinket box, a pedestal trinket box. Very, very pretty, very dainty. I have no idea where it's made. I just know that it's beautiful. So I picked that up. got this for half price. It was 75 cents, so 37 cents. <laughs> um, it's really a, just a pretty little, it's, it reminds me of a hair receiver, but it is not. But it's the same kind of style and shape. Just like a little, maybe a powder, um, powder um, container. Really, really pretty, and it is an American Cut Crystal Import. So, no cracks and no chips. Very pretty. Would look beautiful in a bathroom, on a, a woman's dresser, um, a makeup, you know, station. Beautiful. Um, I also picked up this little willow tree. It's so pretty. Just a little thank you. Um, this is from 2004. Comes with a little stand. I mean, these things were all like a quarter and stuff. So um, I, I didn't spend very much. Um, I don't even know where my receipt is right now, but you'll get the gist. Oh, excuse my forehead. Today, it's more like a five head. <laughs> All right. Uh, I found this bottle uh, out in the barn. He didn't even charge me for it. I don't know. I, I'm thinking it might have had ink or something in it at some time, maybe. Maybe not. No, it actually, well, yes, I think it was. Schaefer's Scrip. No. 
Schaefer's Scrip, S-K-R-I-P. So perhaps I'm correct. Let me know. I also got this pretty little trinket box. Very pretty uh, fall colors. Got the gold detailing on there. Oh, look how pretty. And there's the person's name that painted it. So it's a signed piece. Walk is the name. Ah, we used to have a resident at my nursing home. His name was Earl Walk. He was such a sweetie. All right. And then um, I got one, two, three, four, five pieces. I don't know. I haven't looked these up. They're definitely not chalkware. I'm thinking that they're some kind of a, um, you know, a, a ceramic. But they are made by Boston's England. Now, this, these are very cool. This guy is in deep, deep thought. Hmm. Now, again, these were all half price, so he was only $2.50. This one was regular eight, so I got him for four. This is the back. There's the marking on there, if you can see it. So I just thought these were awesome. And I know that I have seen them before. This guy, I don't know if I did this in the car somehow, because I don't recall seeing these chunks missing out of here, but on the side and over here. But perhaps, I mean, I could touch it up. This guy, I love. He's awesome. <laughs> he looks so real, doesn't he? Such awesome detailing. Then we have this guy. His eyes messed up a little bit, but that could be touched up as well. So he was 250. So we got 250 and 250. That's five and four is nine. And then this was two fifty, so that's eleven fifty, twelve, fourteen dollars I spent for this the set of these, and I have one, two, three, four, five of them. So this is the other guy. I don't like him very much. He looks like somebody from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> but yeah. So we got these two, and this guy, which was my favorite, I just love him, and then the other two. So I thought these were really awesome, so I had to pick them up. Hopefully I don't knock anything off of here, because I'm gonna be pissed if I break something. I just gotta make room so that I can um, pull some things forward. So that was all I got at that estate sale. So I probably spent like, what did I say? 14, probably like $18 tops. Not bad at all. So in the one video or one part of the video, you saw us at this one house where they had all these precious moments on the table the guy, the husband, was hilarious. He stuck his face in the camera. <laughs> he was really, really funny. But I did pick up uh, these precious moments. They cost me $12. They were $3 a piece. I could not resist. I could not. So look at this little cutie. <laughs> With the little curlers in her hair and her box of candy, this would be me. Hmm. Absolutely. 
So I did get her. Then I got this adorable little boy with the bluebird. How cute is he? He's got a little, um, uh, <laughs> yeah slingshot I knew it would come a little slingshot in his pocket I well you all know I love snowmen and I do have another uh, snowman precious moment in my cabinet uh, so when I saw this one, uh, it was a given. Look at this. He is all melted and she's crying. Oh my goodness. How cute is that? And the title of it is, We're Going to Miss You. Oh, I had to have that one. I love it. And then this one, you know, because of my rooster fetish or chicken fetish that I have, look how stinking cute this is. I know, I sound like Kelly Barlow at Kelly Barlow Creations. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm saying stinking cute. I have no idea, but it is. It is so cute. Look at that. adorable so that was what I got at that yard sale as I said really really nice people very funny well just uh, I'm filming well, kind of oh okay <laughs> okay so then went to another house. All I purchased at this house was this really nice brand new set of Starbucks coffee mugs for a buck. Uh, Christmas, nice design. Um, these are from 2016. They're 12 ounces. So I grabbed those. At another house, I purchased these two really cute, look at this. <laughs> How cute is he in his little cable car? I'm trying to see if there's a date on here anywhere. It's made in China, so I don't think it's that old, but it's really cute. And then I found this little lovely, all by her lonesome though. No Santa, but she's got the spaghetti detailing all along her collar and down here on her uh, dress. And she is Napco. Napco. So I grabbed those. And also from there, I got this. This is an awesome piece of pottery. Um, it has this rough texture on the outside. It's the, the colors in it, there are greens, like navy blue, yellow, brown, uh, black, purple, it looks like. And it's signed on the bottom. I have no idea who it is, but I thought somebody would really, uh, who appreciates pottery, would love this vase. I thought it was amazing. And I think I only paid a dollar for it. It was like insane. A dollar or two, I can't remember exactly, but yeah, that's a really, really cool piece. Um... In the video, uh, we walked up and we were talking to this lady and she um, 
I told her I wouldn't put her on camera. She, you know, she didn't want to be on camera. So these are the things that I purchased at her house. And she did um, bundle for me because her prices were a little up there. So let's see. Regular priced items. So we have five, nine, 14, 17, 20. And I think I spent 14, I think, which was a little much, but these are really cool pieces. So I picked this up. This is, um, I think, German or Czechoslovakian. But it's this beautiful, it's the, the, the vase itself is a real dark cobalt blue. There's the sticker on there. And it's in, it's got writing. It's in perfect condition. So I got that. Got this adorable little deer. USA is marked on it. <laughs> she said this was her mother's, I believe she said. Most of this stuff was her mother's or her mother-in-law's. She kept referring to her husband for stuff. Now this is just uh, where the paint didn't um, adhere when they glazed it. Then I got this real pretty cobalt blue um, bud vase. I had one of these years ago. I love this. And you know, I had to get me this little chicken creamer. <laughs> he is adorable. Love the colors on there. It's got little four leaf clovers or three leaf clovers on there. Or something like that. And then I got this piece. This is from Germany. And it is the Courthouse Square. And it is a toothpick holder. Really, really pretty. So that was what I got at that lady's house because as I said, her prices were um, a little bit up there. So pardon me while I put these down here. All right. Oh, another thing that I got at the estate sale, which I totally forgot about, is this vintage um, Hoyle poker set. Uh, it's in great condition. It's just dirty because it was out in the barn. But it's not Bakelite or anything. And as I said, it's got to be cleaned up. But it's in great shape. So I picked that up. Forgot all about that. All right, at another house, I picked up um, just some linens. This is a little dresser scarf that I thought was really, really pretty. Same pattern on the other end. And this is like for a card table. So it is a square. And it has the pretty uh, flowers all going around the edge. Really pretty. And that was all I got at that house. All right. At another house, I purchased, um, I think it was just these two pillow covers and they're they're a nice uh, like a canvas material so these would be nice for outside pillows um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet but originally I thought maybe they would match my room but this this is not the, the right color so I don't know yet and I had to get this adorable apron look at this <laughs> I 
Look how cute that is. Just adorable. So I think that was all I got at that house. Um, and then at another house. Oh, I also got these at the estate sale too. I'm sorry. I knew I was going to forget stuff. Um, I think these were like 50 cents. And these are really nice colored pencils. Uh, Studio Series. So I grabbed those. Sometimes Jessica likes to uh, color, so I grabbed those. At another house, they had uh, books. And these were like, the paperbacks I think were, uh, these were 50 cents each. So these are excellent reference books for me when I want to look stuff up. So 50 cents a piece. And then this one was a dollar. So I grabbed that up. And I also grabbed these two old uh, cookbooks. These were only 10 cents a piece. Look at this one. <laughs> I love it. Look at that. So cool. So cool. And then I got this one. The cheese cookbook, you guys. We're always talking about cheese during the live sales. So let's get some cheese recipes going. <laughs> very, very cool book right here. So... That was that house. Went to this one um, place and it was a, a couple of older women that were having this sale and they really had some awesome stuff. So let me show you. She also bundled for me. So she had this set of luncheon plates or snack sets, I should say. They're gorgeous. They were, it was $5 for the set. So I will have to go through and add everything and then I'll remember what she charged me after. But these are from, they're from Japan, hand painted, made in Japan. So this is the, the tray itself. And that's the stamp on the bottom. So I got both of these. Then she had this adorable little juice pitcher with five matching glasses. There's carrots on here, apples, oranges, adorable. So it was the pitcher and the five glasses for $5 before my discount. Then I grabbed this adorable little strawberry uh, sifter, flower sifter. It does have some paint loss, but it's still really, really cute. This was two. So, so, so far we're at 12. Then I got this amazing dresser set. Um, it is missing the comb though, but... So it was $6 for the set, and it's this gorgeous green color with the pearl, pearl looking. So you got the mirror, and this, this was six, if I didn't say that, so we're at 18 right now. The brush. came with the uh, the hook for the corset or for your shoes. A nail buffer, I'm assuming this is what this is. 
and this uh, manicure piece. So I got the whole set there for six. So that's 18. Then I grabbed this mirror for three. So we're 21. It's in really good shape. It just needs to be cleaned. And I got this for four. So $25. And I think she ended up charging me uh, 15 for everything. I got this really cool. I'm going to make it into a shelf. Uh, Jess, did you see this? No. That would be cool to put little little tchotchkes on. <laughs> I don't have little tchotchkes. So. Oh, well, I do. <laughs> So, and that. So, I think, I'm pretty sure I spent like 15 for all of that, which I thought was an awesome deal. So, let me just move. Well, I don't have to move this stuff. I'm good. And I did pour myself some water. Where did I put my water? Huh. Oh. Can you? <laughs> I'm tired. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So in the video, you saw uh, Jessica was pointing some stuff out and saying how expensive this lady's prices were. And they definitely were. Um, but I did, I was able to talk her down on um, this beautiful set. She was asking 30 for it. I got her down to 20. As she was carrying it up to the front porch to wrap it, she dropped one of the glasses and shattered it. It didn't go down any cheaper in nope. the price. She wouldn't go down any cheaper even though she broke the glass, but that's okay. I can handle it. Look at this gorgeous, look at, it's, it is just amazing. Beautiful, cut, you know, almost like a cut to clear. It's cut to green. <laughs> so that's the decanter. And it did have eight glasses, but now we are down to seven of these little cordial glasses. A beautiful set. And I think $20 was an all right deal because I know I could probably at least double or triple that. Um, I have to do a little bit of research on this item, but it was gorgeous for $20. I wanted to get the blue glass pitcher too, but she wanted 20 for that. I was going to offer her 10, but then I said, I better not press my luck. <laughs> so, so I didn't, but whatever. And also from her, I got these two other items. Um, I just thought this was really cute. Just a little pink, uh, like a rose color, a uh, hobnail little uh, container with the cork. I thought that was really cute. And I got this little uranium glass shot glass for a quarter. I thought it was really cute, so I snagged it. And that was from her sale. Move this over here. Don't want to break anything. And then, our, I think it was our second or third stop. And I said, oh, there's a lot of good stuff at this one. This is where I, I got all this stuff that I'm going to show you for $24. She bundled for me as well. So, for $24, I purchased... This adorable 
little, like a teapot. It's got a lot of crazing, as you can see there, but I don't care. I like the crazing. And um, there are no markings. It's pottery. So I got that. This awesome planter, look at that bird. You could hang it on the wall. No chips, no cracks. Um, not sure who makes it. Could be um, Shawnee, could be, um, it's not uh, Royal Copley. Um, I forgot the other one, but yeah, very, very cool. grabbed this planter. Now she has some paint loss. Originally her uh, bow, you know, going around her dress and the trim was um, like a dark olive green color, but obviously it was cold painted. So over the years, uh, it lost its paint, but she was only a dollar and I thought she was pretty. So I got her. Got this beautiful Lusterware uh, creamer just all by itself sitting there. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Love the color on it. Look at the bird. Gorgeous. Um, it just has some numbers on the bottom. So I don't know. Got a set of uranium glass uh, candle holders. I couldn't think of what they were for a second. There's the set of two. Uh, no cracks, no chips. I did get, you might, you might have seen me uh, look at this in the beginning, uh, and it does have a little issue. Uh, this is Hall, H-A-L-L. -L. It's a gorgeous cobalt blue teapot. There's, uh, there's a little tiny chip in the lid right there, and a little bit of chipping right here on the end of the spout. Uh, that could be um, touched up with some gold paint. Um, you, you could use it because it is glazed inside, but yeah, I just thought it was so pretty. I loved the color. It does have, you know, some paint loss, and um, but it's really, really pretty. Found a couple of uh, Occupied Japan figurines. These were like a buck a piece, but like I said, she charged me uh, 24 for everything. So we got these two. No cracks, no chips. I'm sure it's probably upside down. <laughs> I got this because it uh, has Niagara Falls on it and it's got numbers on the bottom. I'm going to clean it up, but there's the falls right here. But it's just a little like a bud vase, probably um, silver plated or silver because it is on the heavy side. So it might be silver. I got a set of these wall pockets for, I don't know, I think they, $3 they were. So I got those. I'm reaching, reaching. Let me just pull all this stuff over here, guys, because we're down to like, 
The only other thing I got, which is over there, is um, a couple pairs of white sheer uh, tie backs, you know, with the ruffles. Um, I got them for like three bucks, I think, at one of the houses. And they're just sitting in the bag over there. Then I grabbed this. This is so pretty. Look at that. Gorgeous Florida scene. It's Burger of Miami, um, hand-painted in occupied Japan. I have to clean it. It's real dirty, but just a beautiful piece. Then I got this really pretty um, pair of salt and pepper shakers. There's a big hunk of salt in this one, so I'm going to have to open these up and clean them. This one has a regular cork, and this one has uh, what's left of maybe a rubber cork. But they have a real cool design to them. So I don't know. I'm assuming, well, no, I shouldn't assume. Uh, Japan, maybe. I'm not sure. I got this um, Anchor Hocking Moonstone um, candle holder, just a single one. That was That's all that was there uh, for my room to go with the rest of my collection. Got this little October girl. She is just adorable. What do we know in October? Uh, nobody. This is for resale. Meh. <laughs> Actually, it's left in. It's Alex. Uh, who? Alec. Alec's birthday's in October? Yeah. Oh, well, but he's a boy, so. <laughs> Grabbed this lady. I don't know where she was made. I just thought she was kind of neat. She's busting out at the seams up here, though. I think the corset's a little too tight. This little girl. She is carrying a chicken, and there's a duck pulling at her dress. <laughs> Nothing on the bottom, so I really don't know. Oh, no, wait a minute. It does say something. Italy? I don't know. I have to get out my magnifying glass. This one didn't have anything on the bottom. And the last thing I purchased there was this pretty perfume bottle to add to my collection. This was um, actually Curious. I don't know who made Curious. Was it Avon? I don't know. But I just no, really... Curious. That's pretty fierce. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do I know? I don't like Britney Spears, so <laughs> who cares? I just like the bottle. <laughs> so I got that. So I got all of that for $24. So all in all, it was a really fun trip. We were gone all day and really, um, I just wish there would have been, I didn't have time. I wanted to stay longer, but I had to come home for my sale and but then my aunt said she went driving around after we left and she said there really wasn't any other people out selling so i guess i didn't miss too much so but guys this is an extremely long haul um with the video attached so it's going to be a, a, a little bit of a longer video so i'm going to uh, cut this short my next video, though, I do have um, a piece of friend mail that I would like to share as well. So um, I'm just uh, going to start getting ready for my next sale, pick my items out, get everything organized, and uh, relax the rest of the week, I guess. So have a great week, everyone. You know I'll be back because tomorrow is Senior Citizen Tuesday at the Goodwill. Will I find anything? Never can tell. It's kind of like uh, Russian roulette going into the Goodwill. So until then, everybody, please take care and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.